Sundar Playbook for Launching and Scaling Certification Programs, Sundar Nagaratnam and Sanjo Jose. Greetings, I'm Sundar Nagaratnam and I'm joined by Sanjo Jose, CEO of Talview, to share some tips on launching and scaling certification programs in this world of digital transformations across all facets of all businesses. Some of you know a little bit about me. I've been in the business of tech education for quite a few years now, from rolling out the first certifications at Oracle to heading up education businesses for small, medium, and large companies like Hyperion, VMware, Salesforce, and most recently, Automation Anywhere. Sanjo Jose is a serial entrepreneur with ventures in enterprise SaaS and customer internet domains. He's really passionate about using AI to solve enterprise business problems. <clears throat> if you're getting started with building out a program or revamping, <clears throat> we'll actually start with what drives the need for certification for your business and for your company for your customers, for your partners, and ultimately for your practitioners. If you're building out the program or revamping or growing, what are the typical challenges that your peers are facing? We'll share some observations from my experience in having built and led small, medium, and large training organizations. Digital transformation has permeated every business and every company, training included. How is this impacting your design or redesign of your certification programs? We'll drill down into exam delivery towards the latter part of the session. How are some of the most progressive companies approaching this? What are the best practices that can be gleaned? How you may be considering solutions for your programs? What takeaways uh, we have for you? We'll wrap up with this, some follow-up questions and where to go for more information. Let's talk about what your certification drivers might be. Depending on where your company is, your certification programs initiatives will definitely vary. I've been fortunate to lead organizations where it's been a revenue driver or led to revenue in training offerings. Oracle and VMware being two examples. But the last company I was with Brand and awareness of our category was a huge driver, leading to several hundred thousand certifications to establish leadership in our category. At Salesforce, the demand for Salesforce skills was huge, and reskilling, upskilling, and new skilling were the drivers for certification. In most of these organizations, the partner ecosystem is vital to successful implementation and adoption of our technology platforms. And certification was a very effective way to calibrate and differentiate for the partners. In one of the other companies I was with, we also built out a fast track to our customer support queues for customers that met certain certification requirements. The percentage of support calls was heavily skewed towards how to and product knowledge. And this was a very good way to bring down those costs. So take the time to list what your drivers are. It will really likely be a combination of what I've shared so far. So we've talked about what certification means for the technology vendor. For partners, a competent and capable practice gives them the edge with customers and with your sales folks as well. For customers, they can get the right candidates to support, develop, manage, and realize the business benefits from their technology investments. Lastly, for the practitioners of your technology, <clears throat> where there's a demand for skills, it lets them stand out. They get the edge for internal promotions and can stay motivated and invest in their continuing education while showcasing their accomplishments in LinkedIn or other social media. A 
across the various companies that I worked at, there are always a different set of challenges, but you may be facing some or all of these for your programs. With the pace at which the technologies are changing in the world of SaaS in particular, how do you keep the exams current with quarterly or monthly releases of your software when traditional test development processes run six to nine months? Candidates are still experiencing clunky legacy platforms to register and delivery is still quite archaic. Scaling and maintaining exam security is vital to the legitimacy of your programs. You also have to consider how often candidates should be recertifying. What is the right balance between validating currency of their skills versus making it too prohibitively time and cost constrained? Brand awareness and relevance of your certifications, getting mindshare with the candidates, partners, as well as within your own company are things that you may be encountering and for some really the primary challenge. Let's now talk about how digital transformation and certification sort of come together. If you are an innovative tech company, which I assume most of you are, your certification programs have to get on board with the digital transformation initiatives. This will require you to have faster GTM, establish a lean development model compared to traditional development processes, making the use of the central focus versus designing around your or your vendors business processes establishing an ongoing credential calibration or recertification as i just mentioned earlier and taking advantage of ai and ml to be more data driven in the decisions and in personalizing the experience these are just vital to the success of any certification program I'm sharing some sample outcomes from programs implemented at previous companies, as well as in talking to some of the progressive certification program leaders. Much faster development and rollout times for new and update certifications. Three to four months for the former and just six to eight weeks for update certifications. Make sure to be using collaboration tools and work effectively remotely with SMEs in the development and validation process. The customer experience should not only be smooth, but also enable things like SSO across your LMS, delivery platforms, credential and badging systems, etc. You use the effective FAQs and chatbots for self-service support as well. Delivery platforms using LMSs, especially for knowledge-based assessments and remote proctoring are areas that are becoming the norm for many of today's certification programs. Costs are a big factor and will likely become a bigger issue as we get into some challenging times with the economy. Well, this it's really about what is the new norm? We are all living in this new norm, the new norm of hiring people remotely, working remotely, learning synchronously or asynchronously just remotely. It's just accepted everywhere. It really is perhaps a good outcome of the pandemic. At this point, we'll drill, into, drill down into how remote exam delivery has been a much needed toolkit, if I can use the term. Let me hand off to Sanjo to share some of the challenges his customers have been dealing with and a great solution that has helped them with their certification programs. Sanjo, over to you. Thanks, Sundar, for that very useful information, a very structured format. Having uh, launched our own certification program in the past, I cannot em uh, emphasize enough on the importance of all the aspects which Sundar called out in the past few slides. And uh, as uh, you probably know, we have been uh, in the exam solution space for many years now. And uh, through our interactions with customers, we've often come across 
a large uh, number of variety of uh, problem statements which you are struggling to prioritize. And these are some of, the, I would say, the most commonly uh, stated problem statements uh, by our customers, uh, especially when it comes to uh, delivery of exams. So the first one is the high cost of exam delivery, especially when you're an organization who is uh, looking to drive your brand and awareness through certifying a large population of uh, practitioners or professionals. Uh, the cost of delivery of exam or proctoring uh, becomes prohibitive in achieving that. And that often limits on how, how much you can invest in this particular area. And that's something which uh, uh, technology can solve, but uh, organizations uh, are still, uh, I would say, um, solving that puzzle. Uh, the second aspect is uh, when it comes to uh, the cost for the candidates. A lot of uh, uh, I would say uh, proctoring solutions out there and uh, this uh, then translates to the cost which the candidates incur. Uh, do not support a high proctor to candidate ratio. Um, in most cases, a, pro a proctor, a remote proctor or an online proctor can monitor uh, one to two candidates or maybe up to four candidates in, the, in some scenarios. And what that means is the cost of proctoring, which a proctor, which is an expensive human resource. Uh, that's being borne by a, a fewer number of candidates, increasing the cost even for the candidate or the uh, practitioner who is undergoing the certification. The uh, other challenge which, uh, and I think this is becoming more and more mainstream uh, today, is the fact that um, there are um, organizations which uh, provide uh, knowledge-based exams, but uh, there are also organizations who have been um, adding to that with performance-based exams. And with uh, the remote learning and with the way in which technology has evolved, everything being more accessible, there's a lot more expectations uh, for performance-based exams from the uh, practitioner community today. Uh, unlike knowledge-based exam where uh, you're only being tested on your knowledge of a particular subject, the performance-based exam obviously is helping them to demonstrate their skill and many practitioners uh, attach additional uh, perceived value to those certifications. And uh, however, the organizations who are uh, conducting the certification programs often uh, are struggling to uh, figure out how to launch performance-based exams without having to go through extensive uh, investments in terms of creating their own platforms and designing tests and all of those aspects. The other challenge which we come across uh, most often is, uh, especially since everything has moved online, there are concerns from the uh, practitioner community about the intrusive nature of online proctoring, especially when uh, you, you have uh, can test takers and proctors from different geographies, different cultures, uh, when the proctoring experience is uh, video driven, where the proctor is on video and they, at times they could also be uh, cause of distraction for the candidate. It creates an experience which is not very pleasant. And lastly, um, the test taker experience or user experience is one of the challenges uh, which uh, prospects and customers often talk to us about. Uh, the, a lot of uh, platforms in the space are legacy platforms um, where uh, the um, test the number of technical issues which typically test takers have to go through when they are trying to uh, complete an exam is often on the higher side and it impacts um, the brand uh, of, of the organization negatively and also uh, impacts the quality of delivery leading to a lot of additional efforts trying to uh, uh, offer retakes of exams because of technical issues or other um, um, issue uh, management or issue resolution issues, which leads to larger investment and cost. Next slide. So what uh, Talview has been able to do, and when we uh, launched our exam solution uh, a few years back, we were very particular that we do not want to uh, take an approach uh, which is uh, which was existing in the industry at that point of time. We wanted to build a platform which is modern, which is giving uh, user experience uh, a topmost priority, 
and at the same time we also wanted to build a platform which is a comprehensive and end to end solution from exam delivery standpoint so if you look at the uh, image on the right and that uh, give, kind of gives an overview of what alvi offers uh, we have capabilities right from managing the scheduling and payments of uh, exams to uh, the ability to completely secure the exams with the uh, capabilities such as uh, verifying the identity of the candidate um, ensuring that their environment is uh, uh, safe and that they are not uh, uh, having access to any means to um, uh, cheat during the exam uh we also provide multiple modes of proctoring so uh, completely automated ai based proctoring to uh, record and review and live proctoring so uh, all variety of uh, proctoring which uh, would meet specific requirements which you might have for different exams then the exam platform itself which includes the question bank management capability the capability to uh, other exams with uh, all the uh, um specific requirements which you might have the test engine itself uh, which you can use to deliver exams and uh, even within the test engine we offer um, a significant uh, number of capabilities including the ability to capture uh, video responses in addition to text responses audio responses and other form of uh, simulations as well so one specific uh, capability which has been of interest to a lot of our customers is our ability to support for performance based exams uh, because we could uh, our uh, exam delivery engine as well as the proctoring capability could wrap around any web based application we are able to help our customers to launch a performance based exam with significantly lesser investments uh, and with uh, Uh, i would say speed which uh, almost matches the speed of launching exams which are more knowledge based we uh, use the uh, latest uh, ai technologies whether it's from a computer vision standpoint to ensure the face verification face detection uh, monitoring of objects which the candidates is bringing into the test frame or all of those aspects and uh, we also provide uh, a combined score a recommendation on whether the candidate is uh qualified uh, from a proctoring standpoint or should be disqualified for uh, any particular reason all of uh, in a completely automated manner so that the um, amount of effort which is required from a customer standpoint is very minimal and we provide complete access to uh, logs uh, whether it's uh, screen logs uh, the audio video recordings all of that along with the answer uh, the responses the scoring all of that is available for the customer to review so what that ensures is uh, a, 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 from a solution standpoint you have one place where you get all the capabilities which you require uh, to uh, launch a successful certification program some of the other aspects which uh, has been appreciated a lot uh, by our customers is the entire non intrusive online proctoring design a primary mode of communication uh, with uh, the candidate and pro- between the candidate and the proctor is chat driven Uh, which allow, uh, which allows for a l- uh, lot less intrusive experience for the candidate and we use a unique ai plus human approach to proctoring which uh, not only uh, reduces the cost by uh, uh, allowing a higher uh, uh, candidate to proctor ratio but also i- increases the security of the exam with better accuracy and the entire experience is modern and uh, the platform itself is uh, completely accessible um, catering to people with different forms of uh, disability so that they can uh, they do not face any challenges while doing the exam and is also multilingual and we pride ourselves on providing high quality 24/7 technical support to all the tech stakers on the platform now we'll see a few case studies uh, on how uh, the solution which we offer have been able to um, um come together uh, and deliver value for customers in different scenarios so the first case study which we are going to discuss here is of a global tech leader with more than 100000 employees uh, they have a certification program which has been uh, active for 5 plus years uh, but they had a few uh, challenges so one was their uh, content security uh, or, or the uh, exam content security uh w- was uh, becoming a challenge because they had multiple platforms and on some platforms they had remote proctoring but uh some of their exams are hosted on their learning management system 
and they uh, they did not have remote proctoring capability on that those platforms so that was a challenge and they didn't want to opt for different pinpoint solutions because they wanted the same practitioner might go uh, go through test in different platforms and they they wanted the experience to be seamless and they didn't want to go through a complete change of their uh, technology landscape uh, just to in, incorporate uh, proctoring capability into their uh, LMS platforms. So what they uh, went ahead with is Palview's live proctoring capability along with our secure browser, where the and their uh, proctoring capability was deeply integrated into their learning management system, and there was an integrated test booking and certification process with completely automated workflow which required no manual intervention and in this case uh, the customer also had their own proctors so that's uh, an another unique capability which uh, talview's uh, exam solution offers which was uh, very convenient because the customer was very particular about uh, the experience which they wanted to deliver from a proctoring standpoint so uh, within a sh very short span of time of implementing this solution there was significant improvement in test taker experience as reported by uh, feedback uh, which the customer collected. They were able to drive a forex growth from a certification standpoint because now they were able to launch newer exams with, within their learning management system in a, uh, in, at a much shorter span of time yeah, and also in, uh, leading to significant increase in number of test takers. It also uh, helped them to deploy an internal certification and also upskilling programs because the learning management system was also being used internally. And they, like I mentioned, they had their own proctors and with the uh, AI capabilities which Talview's proctoring platform provided, it led to more effective utilization of proctor bandwidth uh, because we were able to support higher proctor to candidate ratio. We have one more case study of a customer uh, which is a fast growing innovative payment technology company. Uh, they, they were in a uh, different uh, situation where they were launching their certification program for the first time. And speed of going to market to meet the uh, demand of uh, certified professionals from partners and customers was their primary problem statement. And obviously being a new uh, program, they wanted to have a single system uh, rather than having multiple moving parts. They wanted the program to be cost effective and flexible so that they could launch it and scale it um, uh, easily. And they also wanted to have control over the entire experience. So having a um, administrative interface where they could uh, log in and uh, see what's happening on an ongoing basis with respect to exam delivery was crucial for them. So they uh, actually decided to start with uh, our um, record and review model of proctoring. And then they uh, later expanded to light proctoring. This allowed them to um, do a go faster go to market and also provide a lot of on demand exam uh, um, taking capability for the professionals. And they also implemented this in a phase wise manner uh, so that they could also roll, roll out the first version of the program in a relatively shorter span of time. In fact, uh, they're able to do it within six weeks um, uh, when they, uh, for the first phase of the program. And the uh, flexibility which the platform offered, given that everything is a single uh, platform and they didn't have different moving parts, it led to a high satisfaction rate from test takers. And they, they were in fact uh, uh, able to scale um, faster than what they originally anticipated in terms of number of test takers and also the speed at which they were able to launch the different phases of the program. So the, those were two uh, case studies of very different customers, uh, but had um, excellent results of uh, digital transformation of their uh, certification program with some of the best practices which uh, uh, we've discussed. Back to you, Sundar. Sanjo, thank you so much for those, uh, for sharing a little bit about Talview. And really for me, what stood out was, you, know, you can start small and scale big, the speed at which you have some of your forward-thinking customers, how they can get, get their programs up and running. You're also offering the ability for them to have control where they can have their own proctors or you have AI-based proctoring or you offer live proctors. So it sort of runs the gamut of all of these. Uh, really like the nim nimbleness of uh, what uh, some of the solutions were. So as we wrap up uh, the session, the key takeaways really are design your programs around your business needs, 
not around legacy vendors who may cater to some of their largest, largest customers, but may not meet your needs as you sort of uh, uh, build out your programs. The customer experience is central to how the program should be designed. The, uh, their expectations, their needs should be top of mind for you. Leading platforms, we just shared uh, an example here. Uh, they get you to market faster. Many of these solutions are a lot, lot cheaper. Again, you can scale as you grow. And really, because they're designed from the ground up with new ways of approach and newer processes, thinking digital first, it just sort of makes it uh, that much better than trying to retrofit something. I'd like to leave you with uh, our contact information. If you need more information, happy to uh, talk with you and share some additional details about specific areas if you need. And uh, there's a link to Talvis as well. Thank you, uh, Sanjo, and thank you all for listening. Thank, thank you, Sundar.